Yo, yeah, what's up guys, and welcome to episode, I believe, 16 of the Road to Glory. So, in today's episode, we have got more top-tier icon trading. Uh, I believe we have the odd SPC. Uh, we got some chemstock trading, and then we got some nice rash investing at 6pm. So, there's a fair bit. Uh, tutorial I'm going to show you guys at the beginning is going to be uh, getting the, the new icon trading strategy because it's actually very, very new to a lot of people. I speak to a lot of, like, top-tier traders, and uh, a lot of them won't actually know about this. So... Again, it's an alternative of, uh, of icon sniping, and basically what you want to do is you want to head over to the squad menu, you then go over to transfer target, you then go and set uh, icon on, boom. Uh, now for me, I trade with, with icons that cost a minimum of 900k, so I'm going to go put a buy now on 900k. I'm going to put a maximum buy now of, let's say 1.5 million, that's normally the sort of coins I have, and then I'm going to go put a buy now right there. I'm now going to continue to scroll down here until I go and hit that 59th minute, which generally is probably going to take about three or four pages. Literally takes about three pages. Now, once we're here, we are looking for deals. How do I know it's a deal? I literally have a page, literally have like a uh, Google Docs of, a, of what, are, um, what are deals as such. This is my sub perk over on Twitch where you get daily train guides and that's uh, that sort of, you know, basically part of that. Basically, what you can do is you can back out searching... And uh, you can do this every single time. As I say, this morning took me about four hours to get a deal. That's not the norm. You don't have to worry, but um, it is normal for it to take a, a, a fair bit of time for a deal to pop up. But if you're making 60, 70, and I'll even, spoiler alert, I made 84k, I think, on one player today. You can't exactly expect to get deals instantly because 84k doing a lot of other methods is going to take you a while. So for it to take you a little while to get players isn't exactly unreasonable, bear in mind the amount of money on these players. So... Yeah, it should, uh, should be a good episode. Lots and lots of icon trading for you guys. Those, well, a fair few more deals. I'd say it's probably about 10 hours worth of icon trading. So, because we guys have, haven't given you guys much of an update, it's about midday. We've literally been doing icon sniping for three hours, and we've had, like, nothing. In between, though, we have been doing some chem style sniping, so we've got to have Shakiri right here for three. Uh, I believe he's a sell-on for 5-5, five, five, which isn't bad. And earlier, we did go and get ourselves uh, Carlos Vela for 3.2k and sell him for 5-5, five, five, but... So trying to sell on the uh, seed off uh, from yesterday. Uh, these cards on wise. Let's see if anything interesting this morning. Yeah, there's been a uh, Vieira has been being listed up for cheap this morning. Uh, Grinch has been listed up a little bit cheaper this morning. Blancs again still dropping. Bochigrano seems to be dropping. Uh, Dalglish seems to be normal. Anything else interesting? No, not really. Del Piero seems for normal rate. So yeah, not bad. Uh, some players are dropping. Some players are rising. But uh, yeah, no deals for me so far. And after about four and a half hours of sniping icons, we're about to probably make about 20k. <laughs> oh, man. I'd, I'd take it because we got him yesterday. Um, yeah, we got him yesterday for, uh, was it, one... Uh, we got him yesterday for uh, one million and fifty, so... I'll, uh, I'll take that any day. There we go. Let's go pop them up right here. So Del Piero we bought yesterday for 1 million 15 sold for just over 1.12. Uh, I'm going to send it to the transfer list because I hate operating on this menu. Uh, a few, few, few things, I think a few things may have sold on. Um, so Callahan bought for, what, 40, sold for 800. I think that's nice in for 500. Going for 1k, going for like 700 coins. Um, yeah, so it's been a bit of a rough day for icon trading, but we can do some chem style trading while we're waiting. We might have to list up with some made a little bit cheaper. It's basically, we've got weak and weak sell-off right now, so icons are basically down a little bit. But yeah, going for 1.0. So we sold him yesterday for 1.120. Not madly worried about what's on the market right now. You know, isn't anything too um, too bad. 1.129. I mean, this morning, I've already seen him sell on for... Because I've added a few to the transfer list this morning. Sold him, sell on for 1.129 already this morning, and that was uh, relatively uh, relatively fast. So yeah, it might go like 1.130. Um... What's mine with a striker with a hunter? So yeah, I might go one one thirty for him. Uh, looking at what he's previously sold for, but yeah, uh, he was a bit of a nightmare sell on yesterday for one one fifty. So I think one one thirty won't be too bad. Profit on that will be, I mean, what's that called? One one thirty would be eighty k before tax. So it's probably going to end up being about twenty five k profit. I'll take that uh, any day. Yeah, it's been a bit of a bit of a long, um, been a bit of a long day when it comes to uh, icon sniping, but. Hey ho, we got our first deal. We'll do some chem style trading right now, just while we uh, while we wait for either Del Piero or to uh, seed off to sell off. So got a few deals and sold a few things on. So might as well show you. Sadly, no icon selling, but Perisic for a lazy buyer. Craggle bought for one case over two. This guy bought for like six hundred, sold for one point two. Sins bought for one, sold for two, and uh, Pereira bought for one, bought, sold for two. Probably bought for under a K, to be honest. And we got to have two deals, uh, two cards that I trade with relatively commonly. 
Actually, no, sorry, one that kind of do. Uh, Bernard right there for five, same for five, five. And Bayou, who is hopefully a player added to the guide this morning. Is he? No, he isn't. Okay. So Mbappé we got for uh, 7k, shouldn't be too bad, his normal gold, I, I think his normal gold's default rate is about 1.7, so should be a good deal, if we can head over to Hunter uh, Shadow right now, going for 7, survey says a very comfortable 9, what about a 10, how's a 10 looking? I'd say a comfortable 9.2k, uh, not too bad, we're going to make about 2.2k profit on that, and uh, let's say we're well, well, waiting for at least one of the icons to sell on, we're just going to keep doing um, chemside trading, because... I say it's easy money. Uh, chances of this getting a little bit empty as well, so I don't really mind uh, filling up with lots of deals. And uh, yeah, we've been doing just a little bit of uh, silver trading now, so I thought I'd just show you some deals because silver deals are popping up. There's no tomorrow. So first one, and Bay is really sold on. So boy for seven, sold for nine two. Pretty nice, easy coins. And now we got ourselves some silver deals. So some pretty pretty decent silver deals. We've got ourselves another Vieira for five hundred coins. I'll go and sell him for literally about three k. Got a Hartley right here for uh, one point one. Sell him for two k. Two Sondas right here for 800 coins each, sell them both for 2k, and two Hartleys right here for 1.2 and 1.3, um, 1 1 so yeah, all these are going to list up for 2k, that's probably like an easy, like, 3, 4k, right here, I say, as long as you don't need either coins or room on your traps list, silver deals are brilliant, now, as I say, they will fluctuate all day, so, might go back down to 1.2 earlier, but that's the reason why silver deals are so, so nice to trade with, so again, just chemstyle trading and silver trading, whilst we're waiting for icons to sell on. We're at another one of those moments, where we're trying to, well, we sold an icon on, but I don't know who, now, I, I want to say maybe it's Seedorf, but I feel like the coins have increased enough for Seedorf. I hope it's Seedorf, because we've been trying to sell him since last night. Um, and obviously, you know, holding on to cards for too long. I think it might be Del Piero, though. Either one or the other, I you know, they've, they've sold on, so we can get back into it. I can trading. It has been, come on, please be Seedorf. Ah, it's Del Piero. Del Piero, not bad, though. Uh, obviously, we went and bought Del Piero. I sadly can't screen share today, because... Um, my, uh, my, just my PC won't let me screen share, but, yeah, we bought him for, uh, well, I'll say we sold him for 1129, I've taken my word for it, times that by 0 0.95, which gives us the, uh, money before tax, so before tax, we, uh, made, oh, sorry, so after tax, we made 1,072k, uh, uh, minus the, uh, 1 million, and, I mean, I didn't really have to do this in, but, Minus the 1,050k, we made 2250 uh, on the Del Piero. Same Del Piero we flipped as well. Uh, and that means we can get back to icon trading, which is brilliant, because I do love myself a good bit of icon trading. So I'm very happy because I think we've just got an absolutely banging deal. Just paid up a dropper right here for 1.4 million. So it's really weird because you buy the player and that says it's expired now. What we're going to do is we're going to go and send Drogba right now to the trance targets because I despise using this way of searching. Oh, uh, well, here. Anything sold on? No. But yeah, Drogba, from what I know, is a really good deal. Uh, Drogba this weekend has been selling for like... I, I dropped down all the prices uh, for Drogba, okay? Drogba, from what I know... I didn't even check Drogba's price. We've got 1.57, 1.56, 1.57, and I know yourself for 1.5 mil. So that means at least for 1.4, he, uh, he is very, very safe. So... Let's have a little look what we're looking on the market. I'll probably go 1.55, and that should be a really good profit. Hopefully, that's not just a weekend need price, but we're looking at them. So, we've got 1.5, 1.580, because we are definitely on the uh, the wee end of weekend need. So, might have to be a little bit less ambitious. That one there for 1.5. So, he's dropped 50k as of the weekend. And the question is, do I want to be ambitious with it, or do I want to play safe? And I'm not going to list anything under 1.5, definitely. Um, I might go 1.550, I think. Uh, we can have a little look at Footbin as well again, sadly I can't show you this because um, I can't get a screen capture off. But let's have a little look at that Drogba. So Drogba is been going for Auli today. Yeah, 1550 he's been extremely, extremely consistent for. I say he's in, he's in on a massive dip right now. But um, yeah, even what yesterday was consistent going for 1550. So I'm uh, I'm more happy to, happy to go and listen for 1550. The profit on him right there. Uh, I mean, tax is going to be, well, 1.5 tax is going to be 75k. So, it would literally be like a 70k profit, so very, uh, very, very nice, very happy with this uh, deal. Best deal I, well, fingers crossed, best deal we've got so far, but uh, yeah, very, very happy with this. Of course, we, we, we literally, we got this in about 10, 15 minutes of icon trading, so yeah, happy, happy days. Um, yeah, on to the next deal, whatever we do. So, we got a few deals, so uh, Asper Lecroy to be sold on Lazy Buyers, a few of these we just had in the club, got him for 1k, got him for 1k, got him for a... Uh, I think he might be in the 500 coin one. Got him for 1k and under, him for 1k and under. Happy days. 
Been doing a bunch of chem cell trading while we've been waiting to uh, sell on our, um, our Drogba. So we got ourselves Parisic for uh, 6.2, gonna be listening out for 8.5. We got ourselves Shakiri for 4.5, gonna be selling for 5.5. Five. Got ourselves Promes. I actually have never sold Promes before, so we can leave Promes right now. Got Dela Feu, is when you start referring to the uh, the price list. Dela Feu, who goes for 4.2k. Yeah, because players like Dela Feu and Shakiri, I'm probably actually over listing Shakiri at the moment. Hakimi got for 5, we're gonna be at sell for 6.5k. He's really dropped off a little bit. And Wendell, we got for 5, gonna be at sell for 6k. So not too bad. So Promes is a new card I've never actually bought before, so we'll have to go and check how much he's worth. Uh, I was a little bit worried something sold instantly. So, Promes, who we got for 3.2k. Survey survey says, not bad. He's actually kind of to start looking at a little bit more. But there we go. Going to be a same for about 5k right there. Going for a 3.2k. So, 1.8k profit. She can actually obviously go and pick up the cards that are under 2k. I always recommend players between 2 to 7k. But, yeah, I mean, it can work right there. An easy 1.8k. But, yeah, we're going to show you guys when we get some more deals. So, I've just had an interesting thing sell on. Uh, as well as that voice crack. Um, this car I bought for 2. Wasn't it 3.2? Uh, Baker would have been bought for a KR under, and Craig would have been bought for a KR under. Now, what I realised this morning when I was going through the uh, the uh, like shadow prices is that Schools of Shadow was going for cheapest on the market at 14k. Um, what is this? And uh, you can buy his normal gold card for 6k. I'll go and see if it's a thing. So I realised that I can literally go and buy the gold, apply like snipe a um, chemstar, and then literally sell it for more. Let's have a little look and see if this is still applicable. Let's say this might be quite applicable for guys where again. 6k, but then with a shadow, how much is he right now? So basically, anything over 10k would be profit right now. Let's have a little look. Oh no, it's kind of flooded right now. Uh, I mean, what is normal gold card 6k? Actually, might be a buy right now, just in the in the moment. Um, even that's probably a buy in all fairness, because they've also position changed him to um, a left back, and I've just sold one for 12k. So um, so yeah, I mean, if you if you get to that kind of position where I mean, if we go look 14k right now. There's one. I know I've just completely bought the market out right there. Oh, I just bought him with Hunter. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Oh, wait. I can't even click on it. Why can't I click on it? Whoa, 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 chat. What does it want? What does it want? What does it want? What does it want? I can't even bloody click on it. Does it want Mexicans? One in form, one MLS. Um, one in form, one MLS. Okay, high rate MLS players do it. Uh, Gaitan might do well then. What's the uh, start of scratch? Chemistry, 75 chemistry, too many prom players. High chem players might do quite well, chat. Players offering high chem. So players like Ira and Mendy might do well. I should be kind of demanded. Team weeks won't do very well. Um, MLS players, I think, are a bit mainstream. I'd go with like players who offer high chem, chat. I personally would go with players who offer high chem. So, I'm going to go to my list right now. Oh, let's just go Grise. Grise is normally bang. <laughs> no, I, mean, I wouldn't go with, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't go with mainstream. So, I'd go with, like, sorry. I'd go with secondary investments if I was you guys. Why can't I search for the market? Why am I being screwed? Why am I being screwed? No, no, I can't, I can't buy the wrong, I want to buy grey. Garai. Oh, I can't believe this. What a royal screw. Alright. Raul Albiel. Yeah, players like that. Yeah, players offering high chem. That's where the money is. Sergio Roberto's. Muniz. Sergio Roberto. We have money on him. Chat, if you want to go by Sergio Roberto's. What's the plan? Uh, high players offer high chem. <laughs> can't buy anyone, man. Sergi Roberto. Will I be able to search for him? I will. Cool, 2.5k. Let's go and buy some. You bought 100 Velas and he's double now. Nice. Alright. 
Let's hope Sergio Roberto makes it in that cheap scenario. Otherwise, we're not looking good. There we go. God praise the Lord, because uh, Seedorf, Seedorf, whatever you want to call him, call, call him has uh, gone and sold on. So we bought this guy for 1 million and 56k. We sold him for uh, 1 million 150k. After tax, uh, there was 1 million, what is it? 1 million and 92k. So uh, profit on this guy is 36.5k. So not bad. I'll be honest with you. I've had him for 24, well, around about 24 hours now. So obviously that's been way, way longer than you actually want to hold these. Things that hasn't really held me back too much with the trading. So uh, yeah, not too bad. And then we got Drogba listed up as well. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, with the cards we're buying at 6pm, we haven't sold on quite yet. Right now, we're kind of just waiting on it. You know, right now we've got the whole, there's a whole place we've got loads in buying. And then we go down loads in panic selling. And now we're just kind of just waiting for it and stuff to chill out a little bit. And then we're going to set it on. But yeah, happy days with that. Also, re uh, supplies is enough to do a little bit of um, icon trading in a bit. So that should be good fun once we sold on a lot of our investment. So our uh, Drogba has sold. Uh, but the uh, advanced, S oh sorry, the um, Vela SBC investments, we haven't quite gone and sold on yet. Uh, so we'll get around to selling them. But um, I'm just going to leave it a little bit later in the night. And probably too late uh, for me to keep it in the same recording. So we are going to be uh, ending off the episode here. Drogba, by the way, um, I'll see if I can grab a quick calculator for you guys, but um, basically a very, very good deal. So we got our Drogba for 1.4 million coins. So the money made on it, and it's, no, it's a bit annoying because it took, did take to this evening and sell on, but that's because he's literally only started become, kind of only rising this evening. You see this happen a lot. A lot of icons will just rise towards the evening. Yeah, we've managed to make 82k profit on him, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm extremely, extremely happy about that. Add that 82 profit to... See if I remember, I think we had like 33k on another player. We had another 23 on the Del Piero. We had another, I'd want to say 40 odd on the, on the um, Seedorf. So if I'm not wrong, we've made a um, 180k on uh, Icon Trading. That's not amazing, but we're only day two into Icon Trading. So I don't really think I can complain, uh, you know. So uh, obviously, you know, we're getting used to it. Slowly come in, but um, you know we're uh, you know we're picking up coins. We're definitely getting faster and faster. We're seeing more and more deals. So, and um, and yeah, it's, it should be all good. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. As I've got plenty of stuff selling, we're probably edging towards maybe even four million coins now, uh, which is uh, going to be pretty pretty insane. So we're going to be on about three point six, I think it is, after I sold on a uh, lot of the investments you just made. So uh, yeah, so it should be all good. Thank you uh, very much for watching this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed some more top tier uh, icon trading. Again, I spent about four hours this morning and didn't get a deal. So uh, yeah, I apologize if there isn't, or probably, sorry, if there wasn't too much content. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.